first ever prestige has paid off. I told you guys that Derwin James was about to get a card, but I did not expect this. There's a brand new promo called Unstoppables. And there were two limiteds on the first drop, Josh Allen, and of course, Derwin James. Previously, we had core elite Derwin. This Derwin is five speed faster. Three more acceleration, four more tackle. He's got 92 zone coverage, 88 man, and 92 hit power. Monster card. It is truly the best strong safety in the game. So at least for a while, we got one of the best defensive players. Madden also got a pretty clean update. All the menus are a lot smoother. They changed the layout of this. I think it looks a lot better. Now, if you're wondering what's so special about this Unstoppables promo, this promo gives each player their own unique X factors. For example, Derwin James has five unique X factor options. Universal coverage, avalanche, deep in zone KO, medium route KO, and enforcer. If you're confused, let me explain. So enforcer, medium route KO, and deep in zone KO are usually just standard abilities. So the question is, why would I ever run an Enforcer X Factor? That's kind of weird, right? Well, if you take a look, that Enforcer X Factor is zero AP. The way to activate it is by getting five tackles, and once the X Factor is activated, it can never turn off for the rest of the game, and no matter what. This is super unique. The activation requirements are pretty difficult, but I'm insanely excited about this. So, number one, Derwin James gets Crusher for two AP, one of my favorite abilities. Heavy ball carry fatigue on hit stick tackle. So I'm going to run that. And I'm running unstoppable enforcer. So if I can get five tackles in a game, pretty realistic, I'll have enforcer activated the rest of the game. I I'm insanely excited about this. At the end of the day, is unstoppable enforcer better than, let's say, universal coverage? No. I think universal coverage is better, but it's harder to activate universal coverage. And your opponent can deactivate universal coverage by getting a lot of yards on you. The other good thing about five tackles is Derwin James is a strong safety. He's actually an even higher overall at sub linebacker. So last episode, I was actually usering Tyson Anderson, gold Tyson Anderson in my nickel and dime sets. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to sub linebacker Derwin James and then Tyson Anderson will go back to my standard safety. That's honestly a little sketchy to have gold Tyson Anderson as my true safety considering Derwin has been so good there. But if I can user Derwin with those absurd stats, absurd jumping, and I I get crusher enforcer hit sticks it's just gonna be so nasty so point being i'm insanely excited about today's episode that derwin's a prestige so we just get the free upgrade he's paired alongside sean taylor it's gonna be a fun day now for some wheel of mutt talk we are three and oh my team is actually kind of bad for being three and oh we do have some monsters but no fullback Super mid offensive line, trash defensive line. Other than Nick Bosa, my linebackers are still trash. I still have Darnay Holmes in. It's kind of crazy that we're three and zero, but we have really been playing our hearts out. And Raheem Moster is this season's MVP. Guys, please don't let me forget to do an end of season award ceremony. Don't let me forget. Hey boys, let's go four and zero today, yeah? Our very first wheel spin, episode four of the new season. Ugh, who are we gonna do for this? You know, this wheel spin, we haven't seen this since the start of the first season. This is how I got Kenny Pickett. We got gold Kenny Pickett. We scored a touchdown with him. That turned into 87 Kenny Pickett. We can take any gold player. If they score a touchdown, we get the best version possible. It's weird though, because my skill positions are so good. Gronk's insane. My wide receiver's actually like so good. Like, do I really do go with a wide receiver here? You also need a combination, you know? You need a player that's got a good card, but also has a gold card. Yo, you know who's an actually nasty, nasty option for this? George Pickens. Oh my God, we did Steelers both times. I just realized that. We did Kenny Pickett last time. So there's this 89 overall competitive exclusive elite. If you grinded the competitive pass in season one, you could earn this George Pickens. Card art's nasty. It's animated. It looks clean. It's also an insane wide receiver. 6'3", 87 speed, 91 spec catch. There are better wide receivers in the game but there aren't better wide receivers that have a gold card. Now, here's the thing. I'm not just going to put George Biggins in just to put him in because I'd way rather have my 85s out there. So, Rakeem Jarrett is going to come out for George Pickens, the 79 overall George Pickens. And here's what we do. If we get down on the goal line, we just sub George Pickens in. We find some simple route to throw him. Hopefully, against zone, we get that touchdown and we get the pack a bunch. But keep in mind, this is a very difficult challenge because not only do we got to score with him, but we also have to win to keep the player anyway. That or complete the challenge wheel if we lose. Very first wheel spin. I'm actually so excited. 
If we could get George Pickens, we'll have to bench one of our good wide receivers, though. That makes me feel a little bad. Ooh. Oh, damn. Top 10 auction house. Okay, we're not sorting by buy now. We're sorting by overall. So it's the top 10 players out of these 100. And I get to choose one of them. Sorted by overall. We've got... Oh my God. It's all tight ends. What the fuck? It's all tight ends. 90 Kyle Pitts. Limited Mark Andrews. Shane and Sharp. Darren Waller. And then we have... What the fuck? Dude, honestly, a, a small part of me wants a tight end because we move Gronk to fullback. Dude, it would be my third tight end. Fuck, how do I pass on this though? Dude, I could take Kyle Pitts and move him to wide receiver. All right, I basically have a choice here. I either go with 90 overall Kyle Pitts and I'm, dude, I'm just stacking a position I don't need. But dude, right now I have a silver D tackle and we had Dexter Lawrence in there. Oh my God, why were there so many tight ends? I had like the four best tight ends in the game up there. The other option is 86 overall Dexter Lawrence. I think we have to do Dexter Lawrence. This is so, like this is not flashy. This is nowhere near as cool as Kyle pits but i need d line i'm taking dexter lawrence but i guess the reason that this is okay is because we did choose george pickens and george pickens is already doubling down on positions that we don't need so let's work on the positions we actually need 86 dexter lawrence is a great great d tackle actually with really good stats so i can't be too mad about this what a weird top 10 that's okay all right this is our third and final wheel spin we got a d tackle we potentially got a wide receiver. Whoa. This is a really fun one. I've never gotten it before. I get to open every single coin pack in the game, but I can only keep one player. So we just got to hope that one of these has some heat in it. Let's start with our gold plus player pack. What, does this want to have a limited? You want to have limited Josh Allen in there? I wouldn't even need that. Zaven Collins. I can confidently say that that will not be our choice. Next up is the gold player pack. I'm trying to remember what this gives me. Just like a few gold players. Mike Brown, Cam Dantzler. Cam Dantzler is technically an upgrade from Darnay Holmes. So that is actually our winner right Right now. Next, we'll take the Triumph Elite Pack. Josh Uchi, Noah Fant, who I already have. Jonathan Owens, strong safety. This could be an upgrade, actually, at corner. I would put him where Darnay Holmes is. He'd be an upgrade. A Max Fantasy Pack. What do you have? I pulled heat in these before. Uh, nothing right now. Ooh, these are usually good. Technically, that would be nice, having a backup. Decent backup D-tackle. Ooh, the Unstoppable's animation is fucking sick. If that dude, if that doesn't rile you up, don't talk to me, man. I'm bricked up right now. That's lit, but Gus Edwards won't cut it. Bobby Brown's a decent option right now. None of this is great, if we're being honest. None of this is, is all too spectacular. Got a playmaker pack. Does this guarantee an elite player? Is that what I saw there? We got a legend, 82 Bruce Smith. That is a big upgrade. Okay, that's the winner right now. Bruce Smith is the winner right now because I have 69 overall Aiden Hutchinson on the D-line. I have yet to open the Unstoppable Elite Pack. It's got two 80 plus Unstoppables and one 81 plus Elite. Oh, this is going to be our winner. God, that's fucking sick. That shit goes hard. Do I have a right guard? I do have Wyatt Teller. So that's a no. Deuce Vaughn's a no. And then we get a team of the week. That's my winner. Darius Williams might be a midget. All right. He might be my exact height, but he's 86 speed, 89. So he's way better than Darnay Holmes. Hell yeah. Darius Williams. Let's fucking go. We're not done yet though. There's actually a lot of packs left. Technically I could get an even better corner, but I'd be shocked. John Michael Schmitz, man. They did this guy so fucking dirty. Imagine you're John Michael Schmitz. You load up Madden Ultimate Team. You can't wait to play with yourself, and they hold your ass like this. That's brutal, EA. Jake Ferguson and the GOAT. Dude, I really caught flack in the comments section for taking Raheem Mostert. I'm so sick of these people. You know... Oh! Yeah, do you take it back, you commenters? Hey, hey, who, hey, that guy. What are you in here? What do you clown me? What do you clown me for taking Mostert? And you dogged me about Bella, bro. Do you take it back yet? Now that Raheem Mostert is our MVP, aka pack. The final coin pack is the Gridiron Guardian Elite Pack. It is gonna have good players in it, but how do we beat Darius Williams? I just don't think we do. Russ Yeast, bro. Your name is Yeast. Ooh, is C.J. Henderson better? You know he's a lower overall, but he straight up might be better. He's so much taller. Okay, here's them side by side. So Darius Williams, five more acceleration, one more speed, four inches shorter. Would you rather have four inches? Look, I'm not gay, but I'd love to take four inches. If someone gave me four inches, that's like double what I got. No, CJ Henderson, I like you, man, but four inches would be really, really nice. But I'm gonna take Darius Williams. Size isn't everything. It's not about the size of the boat. It's about the motion and the ocean. Say, I don't agree with the part about me being horny all hours of the day. 
few hours in the day, yes, but not all hours. How does that compare to me uh, starting Darius Williams? I don't know. I just uh, felt like getting a little gay today. Darius Williams, CB3, Okuda, CB1, Woods in CB2. Darius Williams is our one choice on that wheel spin. So upgrades today, prestiged Derwin James. Got Darius Williams from that wheel spin there. We got 86 Dexter Lawrence in a very difficult, but probably the correct decision right there. We'll sub Danny Shelton to D-tackle two. We're rocking an 82 overall now. And don't forget, we have the potential for the 89 overall George Pickens. That's a plus 10 overall boost to George Pickens if we can get him a touchdown today. So we got to get ourselves in range and make it simple for him. Also, the good news about Miami Dolphins playbook, I think they have a few jet sweeps slash end arounds for wide receivers. So maybe I could try that too. And don't you forget about the challenge wheel. Here's the good news. I could lose, complete the challenge wheel, and score with Pickens, and I could keep him. Potentially. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. I haven't gotten this one, I think, ever. God damn. 175 yards receiving with one player. He's got 88 Ramsey, 88 Bo, 88 Barry. I'm, I'm cool with that. My top three is better. He is using Gronk, so I'm going to do the out route. Oh. Unempty chip quads, second and 10. There's Gronk. He's a little late. You got to be quicker than that, my man. I think Gronk's the guy. He truly is my best wide receiver. Oh, okay. That works. Oh, take me fucking home. No way. Eric Berry didn't get blocked. Oh, he's there. Good ball, dude. There was heat. I fucking love Andrew Luck. He makes just such good throws. We're spamming Gronk right now, but I think Gronk's got about 50 already. Let's go doubles wide flex, and he chased to come out for George Pickens. Okay, I think this is man coverage, so I no longer like this. If this was zone, I'd really like George Pickens here. Oh, it's zone! Oh, Pickens has got it, but we're not there yet! Shit! Does he switch to man? First and goal. George Pickens! scared that the user was gonna go over there i waited a couple extra seconds but we still laser it dude that was a great opening drive about 50 60 yards for gronk an absolute step up laser beam to george pickens we're on the way derwin's the user i didn't activate derwin james abilities holy depression and that's one tackle of the five that it would have been for the enforcer. Oh my God. Dude, I forget to do that so often. I get too geeked up, man. That's okay, third and 12. Really the most important thing's the win. I don't know if I'm really gonna need Derwin's abilities for that. He throws a laser! Darius Williams! Oh, he's got that midget power! Woo! He's got that I've been ridiculed for being 5'9 my whole life power. Fourth and 12. I'm sending a blitz. Derwin, 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 Derwin. No way, nobody got home. Does it matter? It doesn't! Sean Taylor! Bo Jackson's coming in hot. Big two. Another! Down to the 40! Oh, Jesus Christ. Apologies, I shouldn't say the Lord's name in vain. Ah, we got it! Yo. Oh, a slightly stronger stiff arm we're in, but Gronk's got the yards that I want out of him, and I just got to punch this in. That's a beauty. Inside zone, Raheem Mustard. Ah, look at the look at the Red Sea just part. I was just said, let me get that tutty. I got Mustard on my fantasy squad. Game. <laughs> Ass. Your ass. So that was, once again, a pretty quick rage quit. It's weird because we have George Pickens on the line, and I earned the George Pickens. Here's what I'm going to do. George Pickens is becoming wide receiver one. I earned George Pickens. I don't think there's anyone out there who's going to tell me I don't deserve this George Pickens right now, even if that was a quick rage quit. I still got that tutty. I'm going to move Jamar to wide receiver three. I'm going to move Stefan Diggs to wide receiver four. And here's what we'll say. We're going to say that George Pickens is locked in, but Dexter Lawrence and Darius Williams are still on the line for this next game. We'll take a spin on the Rage Quit Wheel, of course. God, we've literally seen this every fucking episode. I, I, I It's kind of exciting, low-key. One-time store pack. You guys are getting more Wheel of Muck content than you've ever gotten because you're always getting half of a game and then a full game. There'll be a point in the future where I will be begging for someone to Rage Quit again, though. It's not always gonna be like this. Okay, we get one store pack. We can keep everything in it. I'm doing the Unstoppable Elite Pack. This has three elite players in it. D-line, D-line, D-line. Ooh! Wait, that's nasty. 84 Eric McGuire, I'll take that. Hell yeah. Deuce Vaughn, I'm not gonna be able to use Deuce Vaughn. I guess technically he can be a backup. Don't, 
damn. 85 Okarike. Hell yeah. What is Deuce Vaughn looking like? That dude's 5'6". Oh my god. I'm assembling the Midget Avengers right now. I'm not allowed to say Midget anymore. Is that a thing? Isn't Midget like the N-word for midgets? Or for, uh... <laughs> Yo, that's a big center upgrade. I got Ryan Jensen in there. That's a plus five center upgrade. So Eric McCoy, beauty. And then defensively, Bobby Okarike comes in for Amari Bernie. This Okarike is nice. I still like Christian Welch better as like a technical user, but they're they're basically the same player. I almost could put Okarike where Rashawn Gary is, but Rashawn Gary's been so shockingly good. So I'm just gonna keep him there. Defense looking good, baby. All right. So like we said, those quick range quits, I can't count that. Dexter Lawrence, Darius Williams on the line. Same exact challenge wheel. I still got to get 175 receiving yards of one player, and we're still 3-0. We can't count that win. It was a rage quit in the second quarter. Luck, Gronk, Sean, Taylor, Jay Mello, what do you got? The Blonde Bomber, LT, Isaiah. See, that's a hell of a lineup. Opening play? Oh, no. You're fucking lying. Track his ass, Derwin. Oh! Took a monster egg. Jesus! That was just, like, kind of unlucky that he broke that tackle so perfectly. Play action from the blonde bomber. He checks down. Second and 10. He's going half back. I'm there. <sighs> Darius Williams. Darius Williams just clamped Megatron. You saw it here first. Third and 10. He's got the middle. Oh. I was dangerously close to that. Fourth and two. I was about to say, does he know how to this and run it? He does. Oh. What? Holy shit. I literally knew he was running it too. Wow, he barely got that. All right, all right. Nice work, nice work. Dude, what a weird animation. I bought, I brought extra bodies in there and he's still, Javante's a dog. Got Gronk down the seam. Makes a big snag and he's going. Let's be smart. Let's be smart with the football. Just feed Gronk once again. Gronk might be the guy again if I'm gonna go for those yards. Oh, he's not expecting it. We get a juke outside. He played that well. He played that very well. First and 10. Nice, nice rush. Ooh, wow. Got it into George Pickens. That was a Superman dive from Isaiah Simmons. Second and two. I'll go inside zone right now. He just can't stop anything I'm doing right now. Oh, uh, but he can stop that when they fucking fly through the middle. Ooh. That didn't look as good as I thought it did. Fourth and three. I will take my field goal. Good defense from him. I wasn't expecting that. Seven to three. Slower start to this game. You know, I got on my hands and my knees and I begged for some comp, and now I have it. And uh, I liked winning. I liked winning every game more. Play action. Throws low. Ingold goes down after three yards. That's why you play underneath. And Woodson turns this game around. Massive play. Woodson was the right choice. That's a huge turnover from Denver. That's why you, you take your field goal, you trust your defense. I'm proud of myself for taking the field goal. I never do that. Oh my God. I haven't seen Wham in so long. Remember that from Madden 20, halfback Wham. It's nice though, because you always know when it's Wham. Play action. I did not expect that. Step up, step up. Let him throw it. It's all right. This guy's got a lot of formations. I like it. This could be an inside zone. I kind of expect it. I'm pretty good. You know, I'm pretty good, but guess what? He's still got eight yards on it. It's not mattering too much right now. I did not expect to run there. Ooh, got leveled by Daniil Hunter, but leveled him into a first down. I'm going to try a man blitz here. Halfback. Wow, you still threw halfback. You're ballsy. Don't do it again, right? Stop testing him! Stop testing Charles Woodson! And he's on his feet! Stop! Let's go! MVP! I can't believe he stayed in bounds. Let's get our own run game cooking, yeah? Beautiful! What did I tell you about that fucking Raheem Mostert stiff arm? That's Lawrence Taylor, the greatest defensive player of all time, getting stiff armed by a fucking 5'11 guy! They're gonna be in some trouble. This is probably... Oh! The pancake from Gronk! I own you! Fraud! I was gonna shoot clock, but that was too sick! That was too fucking sick! Oh! Gronk with Vanguard on inside zone, flattened! Lawrence Taylor's having a bad day. Lord, this is Lawrence Taylor with no cocaine. That's what this is. 17 to 7. Another historic Wheel of Mud episode I fucking love. We either need to stop him or let him score relatively quickly. But dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Both of my defensive stops are like 100% on the coattails of Charles Woodson. He's going to run it here. Javante's going to get bottled up by Derwin. 
Uh, wow, nice play. Ooh, wow, that was very open. Yeah, this is not looking good. Clockwise, I really don't like this. The only thing is if he really tries to scheme the clock, he might end up with only a field goal. He's not guaranteed a touchdown. Oh, what? Oh, I perfectly timed that. Derwin just dove in. The wrong guy. He's got half back if he wants it. That's a dude. You go, Tyson Anderson. You are boxed. You are boxed, my gold Tyson Anderson. He wants Megatron so bad. He's gone. He wants Megatron so bad. Let's go. This guy's averaging 10 yards per carry on the ground, and he managed to throw three interceptions. Run the ball! Oh my God. Dude, I say this all the time. Nobody in Madden Online has the patience to run the ball. It's like, yeah, five yards, whatever. I want to throw a nuke. This guy went to Megatron every time. He went to Megatron on the pick six. He went to Megatron when Woodson picked him off again. And then he goes to Megatron on gold Tyson Anderson. My, I might just pack a bunch of Tyson Anderson to get his 81. That's not even the best Tyson Anderson. That's what's crazy. All right, Derwin is now activated. I also gave him Lumberjack. Hear me out. Lumberjack guarantees a tackle and adds fumble chance. So I'll use cut sticks to get up to five tackles. Once I got five tackles, it's hit sticks from there on out. Although that goes against using crusher. Maybe that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Um, another day, another dub. We keep Dexter Lawrence. We keep Darius Williams. I was robbed of my challenge wheel twice. Kind of annoying. I was never given the opportunity to complete it. It's not wheel of mud anymore, gentlemen. It's wheel of rage quit. This is a rage quit simulator. And you know when it all really started? You know when, ooh, 80 to 83 choice. So any 80 to 83 overall player. Probably gonna go O-line here. By the way, this all started. When, when Tito got here, we just started fucking dominating. Just, you know, just crushing kids. Okay, there's a few things I could take here. I could take a fullback. I could take a right tackle. I could take a left end. I should probably go left end, huh? Let's go left end. We're 4-0, boys. This could be a perfect season. In fact, it kind of has to be a perfect season. Otherwise, I, I don't win the Super Bowl. That's not true. I could lose the next two straight episodes and still make it to the playoffs. Like, I could get close to choking and still make it all the way. I'm going Aiden Hutchinson. Right now, I have the silver 69 overall Aiden Hutchinson. So let's just give him a plus 13 overall boost. Yeah, that is uh, that is quite the upgrade, to say the least. Boys, it really doesn't get any better than this. We are on cloud nine. We are 4-0. Oh, I'm smoking that Derwin pack. I'm smoking that Raheem Mostert pack. I'm smoking that Tyson Anderson pack. I'm smoking. It's been an awesome Wheel of Mud season. I love you guys. Um, let's keep building. Let's go to the playoffs. Let's go golfing. Bring out the whole ocean. Callum suck the whole dick. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.